All right, now back to our other big story, Hurricane Hillary. Meteorologist Paul Deano is tracking the storm path as it moves towards Southern California. And here he is with the full forecast. Hey, Paul. This is more than enough, Marcy, for flooding concerns for not just Southern California, all of Southern Nevada, Western Arizona, Southwest Utah being impacted by what's left of a tropical system. We may have one of our wettest August days, if not the wettest August day, coming up on Monday, although the rain is likely to begin on Sunday. This will impact part of your weekend. So let's get right to it. What's going to happen when the remnants of Hillary or the storm itself or whatever we want to call it is heading toward us? Rainfall. One to three inches of rainfall is likely the three inch mark or higher in our mountains, which is more than enough for flooding concerns, especially this time of year. There's a thunderstorm chance inland as soon as tomorrow afternoon, but most of us will be to see rainfall by Sunday afternoon. Winds will be a concern even with a decaying tropical system. We'll see wind gusts of 35 to 45 miles per hour with some higher gusts in actual thunderstorms at the beach and in the mountains. And there's a 24 hour window for the highest impact. It is from 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon to 2 o'clock Monday afternoon with I think the worst of it occurring on Monday morning. Temperatures outside this morning. It's a beautiful morning outside. We'll have lots of sunshine throughout the day. Pasadena 60 degrees, Palmdale 67, Santa Ana 67 degrees and your forecast throughout the day for Santa Clarita. Not as hot. You will likely not hit 100 degrees sunshine across the board. A light south breeze three o'clock. It'll be 97 degrees back to Hillary. It is a very strong storm category four rapid intensification because there's no wind shear which makes storms weaker at the top of the storm and then under the storm we have very warm ocean water. Both of those things will change as it lifts in our direction. Storms don't stay as strong when they go north because they encounter more wind shear and the fuel which is the warm ocean water is not as plentiful, but it's still forecast to be a major hurricane category three on Saturday as it moves along the Baja California coast, it'll further weaken, but still a hurricane only about 500 miles south of us. There is potential landfall along the western Mexico coastline and whatever's left of the storm. The center of it likely will pass over maybe Imperial County or eastern San Diego County as it becomes non tropical, but will be a huge rainmaker. That's the biggest concern, in my opinion, will be the widespread flooding rain, especially to the east of the center of the storm, which is likely some of our inland deserts. That said, as the storm passes by, take a look at these rainfall totals. The purple inch and a half of rainfall, the red more than two and a half inches of rain. That's you, Inland Empire. That's you, Antelope Valley. That's you out toward Palm Springs. One to three inches of rain is likely by Monday. So here are the probabilities of rainfall. A quarter of an inch of rain is almost a guarantee. An inch of rain, 50% chance. And the wettest August day ever, I'm bumping that up to a 25% chance of that happening on Monday. So we're dry today and tomorrow. We are soggy on Sunday and Monday with rain and thunderstorms, likely gusty winds as well. We're back to normal by Tuesday. That's your forecast. Now traffic with Kalina.